Hello and welcome to this week's journalism.co.uk screencast. My name is Chris Sutcliffe and I'll be showing you how to clean your data for using a pivot table. Pivot tables are often described as a data journalist's best friend, as they allow you to use filters to sort through a huge mass of data quickly and to present the results in a clear and easy to understand manner. So essentially they let you go from this huge morass of data in which you can barely spot any trends to this which is much clearer. And they allow you to do so using filters, which means that you're not deleting any information, which means it's all easily retrievable. Another fantastic and powerful tool using pivot tables is that they allow you to dynamically adjust any charts and graphs you created on the fly using filters. So if I take this filter off, for example, we'll see that chart change to reflect that. Now that's fantastic, obviously. It allows you to spot any anomalous results or patterns that are emerging. First of all, you'll need some data and I'm using this living arrangements by country of birth by age which I've got from ons.gov.uk now unfortunately as with most data it will require some cleaning and when cleaning data for use in pivot tables there are two main things to look out for one is that all your data has to be contiguous that is to say you can't have any empty cells every cell has to be full and touching another cell and the second is that every when you create a filter you're going to want to make sure that in every instance in which that information appears it's exactly the same so here, for example, where it says living in a couple cohabiting, you're going to want, to want to make sure that that information is exactly the same the next time it appears here. So living in a couple colon cohabiting. And handily, this piece of data really had everything was the same, it was perfect. Unfortunately, though, the two filters we want to use, age and living arrangements, are both contained within the same column. So we're going to want to create another column here, label that age, and this one living arrangements. There we go. Make a note of which age bracket this is in, so 16 and over. Copy and paste that down just to prevent the cumulative total emerging when you extend it. There we go. And do that for each of the age brackets. And then delete every row in which you have empty cells. So delete those rows. Now, I created this one earlier. It's essentially that exact uh, database just cleaned and formatted so everything's the same which means that happily now we can select all and go to data on open office or insert in Excel pivot table and create now here page fields is the filters you want to use so age and living arrangements and obviously the data is this section here it's all the figures and for this we're going to want to use Northern Ireland Scotland and Wales. Uh, we could use England except the population is too high and if we create a chart it won't, you know, it'll throw everything else off. Click OK and then you scroll down to the bottom and here is a very basic pivot table. It's showing all ages and all living arrangements but you can easily adjust it to get the changed figures using these. And obviously if you create a chart using the standard chart tool like so, and then just the filters, it will the chart will change to yeah to show the changes made using the pivot table. Now, happily, it's extremely easy to do this using Google Spreadsheets. So here, that's just the clean data I used before. Select all, pivot table report, add your filters, age and living arrangement. For the purposes of this, well, let's clear those now so we can just see how many people are cohabiting. And then add age to the rows and living arrangement to the columns. Now, you'll want to untick these for the moment. Obviously, they're very handy if you just want to find the figures, but when you're creating a graph, they sort of get in the way. Values are the data fields. So let's add Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales create a graph using the standard graph tool. There we go. Insert that. And then when we readjust the filters well we should see the chart change to reflect that. Now obviously this is a fantastically powerful tool 
because it allows you to easily spot any trends that emerge as you yeah any trends emerge as you adjust those filters so that's how to clean data for use in a pivot table it's an incredibly useful skill for any data journalist